हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ नीरज शर्मा आई एम फ्रॉम बियानी कॉलेज बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस राइट नाउ आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग माय सेल्फ फॉर बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ इन ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हाट इज़ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट इट सो वी डिस्कस इन लास्ट प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स सो राइट नाउ वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू बी प्रोसीड ऑन टू द टॉपिक ऑफ मेमोरी वट इज़ मेमोरी बेसिकली मेमोरी इज ए पार्ट वेयर वी कैन स्टोर द डेटा एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन इन ए पर्टिकुलर स्टोरेज एरिया सो वी डिवाइड द मेमोरी इन टू द टू पार्ट्स सो फर्स्ट इज कॉल्ड प्राइमरी मेमोरी एंड सेकेंडरी मेमोरी सो प्राइमरी मेमोरी इज ए वॉलेटाइल इन नेचर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव द नेचर ऑफ प्राइमरी मेमोरी इज वॉलेटाइल वट डू यू मीन बाई वॉलेटाइल वॉलेटाइल मीन्स वेन एवर वी लॉस द डेटा uh it it happened when uh, the power is gone so if power is coming uh, the data will be remain here on to the computer otherwise it will be uh, eliminate so second point is divide into two categories uh, primary memory basically divide into two categories first is called ram and second is called rom so ram is basically random access memory random access memory is defined for uh, define uh, different types like sram dram and uh, read only memory read only memory is defined uh, Uh, in different three types it is called p rom ep rom and eep friends let's discuss about the primary memory we have two type of primary memory first is called ram and second is called rom so first of all uh, we discuss about the ram so ram is uh, random access memory it is divided or categorized into two parts first is called s ram second is called d ram it is static dynamic ram uh, एस रैम इज कॉल्ड स्टेटिक रैंडम एक्सेस मेमोरी एंड डी रैम इज कॉल्ड डायनेमिक रैंडम एक्सेस मेमोरी बेसिकली इन नॉर्मल वेज इन पी सीज वी नॉर्मली यूज द एस रैम इन नॉर्मल कंप्यूटर्स बट डी रैम वी यूज इन सुपर कंप्यूटर्स और रिसर्च वर्क कंप्यूटर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ नाउ डिस्कस अबाउट द रोम रोम इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट पी रोम ई पी रोम एंड ई पी रोम पी रोम इज ए प्रोग्रामेबल रीड ओनली मेमोरी प्रोग्रामेबल रीड ओनली मेमोरी मीन्स इट इफ वी डिफाइन द प्रोग्राम्स और मे बी इंस्ट्रक्शन Uh, only once so it it cannot be erased it uh, if manufacturing companies already defined it so we cannot erase user cannot be erased it so ep rom is erasable programmable read only memory in erasable programmable read only memory the part which we can say that uh, we can define or we can erase uh, this part or this data or maybe this instruction on a particular storage area so uh, erasable programmable read only memory basically use the ultraviolet rays to erase the programs uh, third is called eep rom which is called electrical erasable programmable read only memory in electrically erasable programmable read only memory we uh, normally we uh, erase the programs or instruction uh, electrically using of electrons uh, let's discuss with about uh, secondary memory what is secondary memory basically secondary memory is a non volatile memory it means if uh, power is gone the data will be remain stored into the computer so uh, hard disk uh, cd dvd floppy disk and magnetic tape magnetic disk it is example of secondary memory which uh, we can retain the data after uh, after uh, lost the power so we can say that the hard disk cd dvd it can remain have the data so hard disk basically have the various sizes like 4 gb 8 gb and 16 gb so it it is standard size uh, we can say that in hard disk we have so uh, in magnetic disk uh, basically it have the concentric circles uh, we have the lot of data we can in store inside the magnetic disk also in magnetic tape we have uh, sequential data we can store the sequential data uh, whenever we need sequential data to store we we'll use a magnetic tape in case of dvd and cd we have different sizes like cd have the 700 mb and dvd have the 4 gb but Uh, we can store uh, the data in concentric circles in dvd which is called digital versatile disk and cd is called compact disk so we can store all the data in, inside the cd and dvd so let's discuss uh, another topic which is called cache memory cache memory is the fastest memory called into the computer with the use of cache memory we can uh, store the data uh, we can proceed the data and process the data very fastly so in all computers we have the cache memory basically what is the need of cache memory so first of 
all we should know about the CPU. Uh, CPU is called the central processing unit or uh, it is uh, remaining have the all ALU and CU part. So, we have arithmetic logical unit and control unit inside the uh, CPU. So, whenever we uh, transfer the data from CPU to main memory, so main memory is not able to uh, take the data sometimes. So, we need to be stored some of the data first of all in cache memory and after that cache memory will transfer the data to the main memory. It happens sometime that uh, main memory will be remain busy. So, on that time we can store the data in cache and after that main memory will pick up the data or receive the data from cache memory. Let's talk about the virtual memory. What is the virtual me memory? Basically, virtual memory is a imaginary form of memory. Uh, some of happen that we have the physical memory basically. So, some of uh, time happen that uh, we have the large apps, large applications. On that time we can store the some of the data into the physical memory and rest of the data we can store inside the virtual memory. Memory. So, virtual memory is basically have the resources, uh, some areas uh, which is uh, physically memory does not uh, able to store. On that time, we can use the virtual memory. Virtual memory part can be used. My video, friends, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you uh, like my video, then please subscribe, share, and. Uh